In this video, we're going to talk about uh, finding, sorting, filtering uh, data in Microsoft Access 2013, uh, either in a table or in a form. So let's go into a customer's table here. All right, and uh, so let's say, first of all, we can sort very easily. So right now, let's say it's sorted by company name. So I'm just going to click on one column. Uh, uh, let's say when I click on uh, the contact name column, you can click anywhere in there. And then right under the home menu, you have your sort icon. So let's sort ascending. And right away, it sorts it ascending and sort descending as well. Now, uh, if you do the same kind of thing in Excel, where you just pick on one cell, sometimes it'll sort that one column but then it'll leave the rest of the row where it was. Well, in Access, that, that never happens. In Access, the record always stays together as a unit. So if we sorted that column, the rest of the record came with it. Um, so sort, you can really sort on any column. Let's sort by address. So just pick one cell in the address column and then pick on ascending. And you can see it's very easy to sort. Now, here's how to sort by more than one field. Uh, let's say I want to sort first by contact title and then by contact name. What you want to do is you want to rearrange the fields so that they're in the uh, left to right order that you want to sort them in. So I'm going to pick up contact title and drag it to the left of contact name. Now you highlight both fields. Now they're both highlight, and now we'll do a sort. See how I put all the accounting managers together, but within the accounting manager, it's sorted by contact name. All right. So to sort by more than one field, you got uh, you're actually going to rearrange the columns so that they're in the left to right order and then you pick all the fields that you want to sort all right now so you can sort by more than one field uh, in access you can see that worked very well now let's try something that would be uh, a filter uh, they've made the filter much better than it used to be so for example I would just like to see um, the sales agents so I'm going to right click on the field that I want to get or actually you find the value that you want in this case sales manager so I'm going to right click on sales manager and here we'll just say equals sales manager and now it's just showing you those records so that's really all you have to do you're going to right click on the field that you want with that has the value that you want and then you pick on equals now the filters are just temporary if you notice down here it does say filtered to turn the filter off just pick on the word filtered again uh, so watch again I want to find all the people from Brazil I want to right click on the word Brazil and I'll pick on equals Brazil and just like that it, it occurs uh, I'm going to pick on the word filtered again to turn the filter off now here's how to do uh, I want to see all the people that are not from Brazil so you right click on Brazil and you say does not equal Brazil and we're good to go there so these are all the ones that are not Brazil so I'll pick on filtered again to bring all the records back. Now, here's how to do a wildcard type of filter. So I want um, any of the contact titles that has the word sales in there anywhere. So I'm going to right click on one of the contact titles. Uh, in this case, you pick on text filter and look what you can do here. Equals, does not equal, begins with, contains, ends with. So I'm going to pick on contains and then I'll just type in the word sales. And then notice how it can be everyone that contains the word sales in the contact title. Assistant sales agent, sales agent, sales associate. So that's a great way to do a wildcard type of search uh, in a filter. So again, I want to pick on the word filter and get all the records back again. So we can sort uh, the information. We can filter. Uh, you can also do a find. So I'm going to pick on the word find here. And I'm looking for the word John. And uh, if you want to search on every single field, you pick on current document. If you only want to pick on the field that you're in right now, you pick on current field. Otherwise, you pick on current document. We're going to match. If, if you want to do a wildcard type of search here, you do any part of the field. Otherwise, you can match the entire field, or you can match just the beginning of the field. I'm going to say any part of the field. And by searching all, it means it'll search the entire table. So I'm going to pick on find next. And it finds the word John right here in the contact title, John Steele. I'm going to click on find next again. And then it finds John again in the address field, 8 Johnstown Road. 
Uh, now, the reason I found it there is because I said, you know, match the current document, which is going to match any field, and then I said match any part of the field. And you can see that it worked for us. Uh, so that's the class that we're going to do uh, a find. Of course, we could also do a replace. You can probably know about replace. Works the same way as it might in Word or PowerPoint. So, uh, or Excel. So I'm going to pick on cancel here. So in that case, we did a find by uh, clicking on the binoculars up here. Of course, you can also do Control F. Control F will open up that same window. That's what I just did. Now, I'll follow my mouse down here, and you're also going to see that you can search with this window over here. So I'm going to click there, and again, uh, I'm going to type in the word John, and then uh, you'll, that's just another way to search. So this will work as well. See, these are all great ways to search your access table. So um, we could do a find, we could do a filter, we could do a sort. Now I want to show you how the sort, these kind of things can also be used on a form. I'm going to close this window. You can see I'm clicking on the word search there. Uh, here I'm going to find John and then the same kind of thing would occur. All right, so very easy to use that. I'm going to go ahead and close that window. And everything will go back to the way it was before. Now let's do the same kind of thing on a form. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick on the customer's form. Now first of all, you can click on any field or you can do the search here as well. So if I'm looking for, uh, I, let's say I'm looking for John again, and it'll find that kind of situation the next time if, uh, on the next occurrence. Or, um, you know, the, the search will work. I could do the find. Now, with the find here, you're going to click on the field that you want and do the find, and the same kind of window will uh, appear. Again, you can look in the current document for all the fields, and you can look at any part of the field. By the way, if you just want to search for that field only, then you can say current field. And let's see what field that I'm in. Uh, I want to make sure that I find uh, the word sales here. And again, it'll bring me to the next occurrence of the word sales. Uh, it, it's kind of interesting how the filters work, the sort works in the form, the find, the search. Uh, so this is where you can quickly find your data. Uh, I would like to find the next record that has London in the city. So uh, another thing you can do, of course, is right click. And we'll say uh, text filter equals London. And now I've found the next one that has London. So it really makes it pretty easy for you to search or sort or filter either uh, a table or a form. By the way, the same kind of thing would work in a query as well. And now hopefully you have some good ideas of how to start sorting, filtering, and finding your data in Microsoft Access 2013.